Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss further into differential equations and now look at a closer look at radioactive decay. I mentioned it in my earlier videos uh, on um, exponential growth and decay, and now I'm just going to get a bit closer look. So, radioactive decay is when radioactive substances decay by spontaneously emitting radiation. And just uh, definition of radiation, it's uh, the emission of energy as electromagnetic waves or as moving subatomic particles, especially, especially high energy particles that cause ionization. And, uh, and definition of electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic waves are synchronized oscillations of electric and magnetic fields that propagate at the speed of light uh, when looking through a vacuum. So uh, that's in a closed system like that. And uh, ionization is the process by which an atom or a molecule acquires a negative or positive charge by gaining or losing electrons to form ions. I'm not going to get into these in too much detail. So hopefully in later videos I will, but you can just read up on this on your own. But basically radiation is when substance decays by emitting radiation or sub uh, subatomic particles. Uh, and that can cause ionization of other substances so that they become charged and this is a this is a concern especially for uh, if it's near humans and uh, because they can react with your skin and your body etc anyways uh, going further so if m of t uh, m uh, as a function of t is the mass remaining from initial mass m o of the substance after time t then the relative decay rate, and I'm going to write this down, 1 over m dm over dt, this has been shown to be constant. And this is the relative decay rate because, again, as I explained before, this is the decay rate dm over dt, that, because that's the mass of that substance. Then when you divide it by the, the actual mass, then it's just the relative uh, yeah, relative decay rate based on whatever mass it is. And it, it's been shown that this is constant. Yeah, and here I just wrote that down. So it has been found experimentally to be constant. So this rate, uh, this rel relative decay rate of a uh, radioactive substance has been experimentally shown to be constant. And since the decay rate dm over dt is negative, because you're, uh, it's decreasing the, the amount of masks in decay, then the relative decay rate is positive. Yeah, and that's basically, if, if this is negative, there's a negative already there, then that just becomes positive. Uh, and it follows that, and I'll explain this in a bit more detail, so it follows that, well, let's just write this down. 1 over m dm over dt equals to its constant, so rearrange this, what we end up having is, uh, let's just write this for dm over dt, this equals to move the negative on this side, negative con a negative constant, just write constant there, we'll, uh, we'll rewrite this in a bit, and then move the m on the other side, so times it by m. So we have a negative constant times by m, because again, this is constant, and what we're going to do is let this equals to k. So we're going to let that negative constant equal to k, so what we end up getting is a dm over dt equals to km. So I'll uh, highlight this. This is our differential equation now where k is equal to or just k is a negative constant. And in other words, what this uh, differential equation says now is that radioactive substances decay at a rate proportional to the remaining mass. So dm over dt is proportional by this k constant to the mass uh, of that uh, yeah, mass of that substance at that given time. This means that we can show that the mass decays exponentially, as I explained in my earlier video. So first, I'm just going to recall instead of just reinventing the wheel and solving for m. I'll just recall that if we have a differential equation dy over dt equals to ky and if we had the initial y of 0 equals to y naught or y0 then the solution to this and I've proven this in my earlier videos 
Uh, so make sure to watch that. And I'll put the link in the links in the description below. So E of KT. So this is the solution to uh, this kind of uh, differential equation. So thus for our case, we have dm over dt equals to km, like that. And we also have, because we also stated over here, where mo of this, so is the mass remaining from initial mass mo, or m0. So we also know that m is the initials of t equals to zero, oh, is mo. So what we have is, if this is equal to this, then we have the solution m of t is equal to m o or initial mass times e to the kt so exactly the same formula here this, we're just switching the y with the m and we will be using this formula in uh, next uh, couple of videos i'm going to go over some examples uh, one or two examples on exponential, I mean uh, radioactive decay or exponential decay and also want to point out that f physicists express the rate of decay usually in half-life, in terms of half-life which is the time required for half of any given quantity to decay and I'll go over some examples in uh, later videos and in fact what's interesting is that radioactive decay is also used to uh, date um, yeah, date material or other stuff found from like way back and then basically based on how much a substance has decayed you can work backwards how old any any certain thing is like a bone or what, uh, whatever what other stuff like dinosaurs and, and whatnot. Anyways that is all for today if we learned from this uh, pretty interesting introduction video on radioactive decay and just a little definitions on radiation etc. Anyways that's all for today if you learned like always you could download these exact notes in the link below and thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.